Hello students, how are you? I hope you are all fine at home. Dear students, today I am going to teach you lesson 11 from your English grammar textbook, grammar gear of class 4. The topic is adverb. Before starting the lesson, let me remind you about the definition of verb. What is verb? Verb is a kind of word that tells about an action or a state. So what is verb? Verb is a kind of word that tells about an action or a state. Now let us come to today's class that is adverb. So first of all let us learn what is adverb. Words that are used to modify a verb and adjectives or other adverbs in a sentence are called adverbs. For example, Ram runs quickly. In this sentence, quickly shows how or in what manner. Here, I have used quickly for running. Here, quickly is modifying the verb run. Let us take another example. This is a very sweet mango. In this sentence, the word berry is showing how much or in what degree. Very is modifying the adjective sweet means how much sweet is the mango. It is very sweet. Dear children, there are five kinds of adverbs. They are, dear children, there are five kinds of adverbs. They are adverbs of time, adverbs of place, adverbs of manner, adverbs of frequency, and adverbs of degree. But today, we will discuss about adverbs of time, adverbs of frequency, and adverbs of degree. Now, I'm going to teach you about the adverb of time. Adverb of time. Words, they tell us about the time when something happens or done are called adverb of time. For example, he came today for the party. Here in this sentence, today is an adverb. Here today tell us when did he come for the party. Adverbs of time typically express time answering questions as when, tomorrow, soon, today, and now are adverbs of time. Now, let us see the position of adverbs of time. First, adverbs of time usually occur in the end position in a sentence. Second, adverbs of time sometimes occur in the front position in a sentence. Adverbs of time tell us when an action happened and also for how long and how often. Now, let us try to understand adverb of frequency. Words that tell us how often something happened or done are called adverb of frequency. For example, sometimes we go to the cinema. Here, in this sentence, sometimes is an adverb. And it tells us how often we go to the cinema. Usually, rarely, always, and often are adverbs of frequency. Now, 
let us see the position of adverse of frequency first adverse of frequency occur usually before the main verb second adverse of frequency occur after the verb be that is am is are was were third adverse of frequency occur before have if it is a main verb fourth adverse of frequency occurs after have if it is a helping or auxiliary verb fifth adverse of frequency occurs at the beginning of a sentence six adverse of frequency occurs at the end of a sentence the next adverb to be discussed is adverb of degree words that tell us the degree or the intensity of the action are called adverb of degree for example i am very happy in this sentence very is an adverb because it tell us to how much extent he was happy adverbs of degree answer the question how far or how much somewhat very really extremely and absolutely are adverbs of degree now let us see the position of adverbs of degree first adverbs of degree occur before a verb an adjective or an adverb so my dear students today we have learned about the definition of adverb we have also learned about the adverbs of time adverbs of frequency adverbs of degree and its position i hope you will remember and revise the lesson well thank you students for listening so attentively and patiently bye take care stay safe